All right, hi everybody. I'd like to welcome you to another uh, episode of Kitchen Bitch. This one is going to be the Valentine's Day special, okay? Now this is for anybody out there who, uh, you know, may not either have enough money to go out to dinner, you don't have enough time to go out to dinner, you can't do that whole, like, wonderful thing that you wanted to do, take them somewhere special or whatever. In our case this year, we have no time whatsoever. I got to work tonight after cutting down some trees, and my wife's got to take my son to his practice for his first Holy Communion, and they put it on a... Thursday, which is Valentine's Day. That made a lot of sense. Anyway, here's what we're going to do. Um, my wife likes uh, steak, okay, and she loves steak wrapped in bacon and everything else, so that's exactly what I'm going to be making today. I'm going to show you real quick and easy how to do it. First things first, okay, I went to the store and I picked up some steaks, and guess what? I wrapped them in bacon, okay? These are a little bit bigger than medallions, um, so some of them, the, the, the uh, bacon's not all the way around, but uh, if you look, you know, you put a little, uh, uh, you know, uh, toothpick, hold them in place, and everything will be good. Okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a little marinade, okay? And the marinade is going to consist of uh, a couple things. Uh, first, some uh, extra virgin uh, olive oil. Alright, so what we're going to do is just take this uh, food storage bag. I'm going to pour some olive oil in here. If you're pretty generous, you're going to want to be able to coat all your meat, okay, that's in there, okay, we're having steak, so hey, a little bit of steak seasoning, why not, you know, so we'll sprinkle that in, okay, not too much, you don't want to be too, uh, you know, overwhelmed, uh, and you can do this all by, you know, sight, you know, like what you think, you know, might be good, and that's going to depend on how you like your steak, okay, here's a little bit of rosemary to add some flavor, okay, Rosemary is always nice. And finally, I'm going to dress it up with just a little bit of Italian seasoning. Okay? I'm going to sprinkle some of that in there as well. Okay? So now I have my main ingredients in here. Okay? I'm going to close the bag up for a minute and just really get it all mixed around. Okay? It's like shake and bake kind of thing, you know what I mean? Alright, so when that's all done, now I'm going to take my meat. Again, it's got the bacon already wrapped around it. I'm going to throw these in. Okay, just like that, and then this will sit while I'm out doing all my other stuff today. We're cutting down trees and uh, everything else that I got on my agenda today. Okay, so you want to get all your stuff going around on these, rub it in. That's why I like using these bags, because you can get all the stuff on there without getting it all over your hands and making it a big mess. And you know, if the bacon comes off on any of these, you can always put it right back on when you pull it out to uh, stick on the grill. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit, a little bit later today. Uh, after this is uh, marinated all day, I'm gonna throw them on the grill. We're also gonna make uh, uh, mashed potatoes, which I'm cheating on today because I don't have a lot of time. And we'll make something, uh, you know, for a veggie. Maybe have some wine and stuff. And surprise her tonight for Valentine's Day. Okay, so I'm back from cutting down trees and everything. I got the grill lit. Uh, I let it go up to about 300 degrees, um, and I took the uh, marinated steaks out of the uh, refrigerator, and they've been in there now for uh, probably about eight minutes. Uh, I like doing about eight to nine minutes per side. Um, you really don't want to flip them much, you know, when you're doing these. So uh, I'm going to go ahead out, I'm going to uh, flip them, and uh, bring them back in and finish everything up and show you the finished uh, product. Okay, so once again, when you're in a hurry, um, or, you know, you just don't have a lot of time, but you want to have a nice meal for Valentine's Day for your special someone, um, and you know you're not going to have a lot of time, like she loves mashed potatoes, or like mashed potatoes, I just ain't got time to make them today. So, if you go to your local grocer, you can find already made garlic mashed potatoes, and all you got to do is heat up in a microwave, which is exactly what I'll be doing. Okay, so here we are outside. Um, here's the grill, and here they are. Looking pretty good. They're looking pretty done. Um, I just uh, cut the uh, centers just to uh, make sure because my wife will not eat on the there's pink inside. I will, so I know which ones I'm going to have, but uh, she will not. So anyway, and uh, yeah, that quick and easy. It's a very inexpensive um, way to uh, you know have a nice Valentine's Day dinner together. It doesn't have to be this. This is just what she likes. So whatever your uh, spouse likes or your significant other, um, go out and get it. All right, and this here is the uh, finished product, and uh, like I said, very inexpensive way, 
and also you can uh, share some time together if your schedules are very busy like mine and my wife's are and uh, that's her favorite meal right there